Hey, this is Russ. I am heading back from my trip to the North Branch Trail. Yeah, the wind is picking up. So yeah, it was an interesting trip. I got to go in the opposite direction of the Botanic Gardens. I always wanted to do that last year, but I never got a chance to do it. I ran into uh, Russ's right viewer. <laughs> it's always fun to meet you guys. You know, if you guys see me, definitely yell out my name. And if I hear you, I'll stop. Make sure you stop too, because if I back up and come chasing after you, <laughs> if you keep going, I may not be able to catch up to you. So yeah, we got to meet uh, one of our subscribers. Uh, he says that he's been watching Russ's right since he got his bike. Uh, he's, I think he said like last December or something like that. So yeah, that's nice. He had a rad runner. I'm gonna pull off here and uh, program the, uh, the the GPS a little bit here. Hold on for a second. Uh, okay. I think we need to put uh, put some help over here. Okay. So yeah, I'm using uh, Google Maps to get me back home. And uh, I'm down to four out of the five bars now. I was gonna switch over to battery, but uh, I decided, well, I think the area where I need heavy-duty battery, I'm gonna pass all that before <laughs> before I need need uh, extra help from a, a stronger battery that hasn't been worn out yet. So I'm just gonna keep going a little bit, and uh, you never know. I might actually even make it all the way back with just one battery. Who knows? Man, the pollen is unbelievable. How much stuff is is flying around right now? No, this section that I'm on here it was considered the bike trail or the bike path, but then you run out of bike path here. See, this is this is actually striped for cars to park, cars to park. <laughs> so I can't hear myself talk. I'm saying the wrong things. For parked cars, so there is no more bike path. You just have that one short little section, and that's it. I think the toughest part of this uh, trip has been um, things blowing into my face, Blow things blowing into my eyes. Part of me starts thinking that maybe we really do need things like goggles. <laughs> All right, so as I'm hitting down harder now, I've dropped down to three bars, because I'm pedaling and throttling at the same time at this point. I probably will have to switch this battery out. I'll just, I'll find a good spot to do it. We don't have to take this down to the, uh, to the maximum level. Uh, I'll move up a little bit and then I'll change out the battery. Let's, here's an open spot. Let's go do it over here. I'll show you how I do this. Usually I'll pull up against a curb. <laughs> it's easier to put my leg down on a curb. I'll hop off and then I will power the, the bike down. Uh, lean over and do the kickstand. Then I need to power off. I don't know if you guys can see this but there's a button in here on this thing that I need to push. So the power on this is off. 
Once that's off, I can disconnect this connector here. And I'll just toss it into the back here. So this uh, rear rack battery has been running us the entire time. Power's off. Down here, I don't know if you guys can see it, I'm just leaning over. I disconnect that cable, grab the cable from this battery, take the dummy plug off of it. That keeps it clean, okay? Plug that one in, plug this dummy cord here, and I just kind of toss it to one side. And so now the battery's hooked up, turn my battery on, Get back on the bike, kick off the kickstand, power the bike back up, make sure there's no cars behind us, then I can go. Yeah, I tell you, dogs are always trying to get you. <laughs> so now I have a fresh battery running the bike. So when I get home, I have to charge two batteries, but that's okay. It's better to do that than run out of battery. I'm sorry, I know, I know that uh, every time I hit that uh, microphone, you hear a little bit of noise. But things have been blowing into me today. I don't know why. All right, we are clear, we can cross. That was Harlem for local guys. We're on Beckwith Road right now. This is Shermer that we're coming up to for you local guys. And uh, there's more traffic coming through, so we cannot cross. Yeah, I was seriously thinking I need some type of long sleeve shirt because I am tanning up like crazy at this point. Um, I am dramatically darker. <laughs> dramatically. You can see it in my face too when I do uh, shots where I'm talking. But my arms are getting really dark. If you lift up my sleeves, it's just like white in comparison to how dark my, my arms are. Look at that. All right, so here's the thing. <laughs> if this uh, GoPro shuts itself down, It'll be one of two things. I've run out of memory card or I've run out of battery. We've been running a lot today. So uh, my apologies if it abruptly shuts off and I don't get to say goodbye. I'll tell you that in advance right now. But I'll run it as far as I can run it. Take you along with me. I'm throttling more now because uh, I've been pedaling quite a bit today. So of course I'm a little more tired out from, uh, from doing that, but still I'm not breaking a sweat. That's the one thing with the e-bike. You could break a sweat if you really wanted to. I mean, you could put your pedal assist way down there and, and then pedal. But yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so. Relatively easy ride today, but still, you know, you're you're moving your leg quite a bit. I will say that uh, this morning I woke up um, to a big leg cramp. I've been getting a lot of leg cramps lately, and um, yeah, that's not fun. It's almost like if you keep your keep your legs straight for so long, you know, while you're sleeping the whole time, and like you don't move it, you wake up, you end up with a cramp. It was actually uh, almost like a thigh thigh and calf cramp <laughs> combination thing on my left leg. 
left leg is where I have the replaced knee. So that wakes you up right away. And I had to get out of bed as fast as I could to kind of stretch that thing out. Yeah, the, the wind is blowing up really hard at this point. I don't know if you guys can hear how bad the wind is going, but um, it's so much that I can't even hear myself talking again. Because it just blows up against your ears, you can't hear a thing. So. So these rides going back in the opposite direction sometimes looks a little different to me. It's like a different perspective almost. Even though you're probably taking the same roads as before. Alright, so we gotta take a left over here. Make sure there's no cars. There's one car coming, but I made it through. Yeah, I would say overall, Google picked out some decent, uh, decent roads for me to take. I guess the one time it was telling me to go on Rand Road, I didn't want to do it. I think it knew something I didn't know, right? It knew that uh, you had road construction up ahead, you better take it. Well, I didn't know that, and I said, forget it. So I um, went forward and sure enough, I ran into a road that was under construction. <laughs> so I still had to go on it anyways. And this path here going back is the same path I took before last year. So I think uh, it, it does know kind of where you need to be at. Yeah, I'm not going to make the video too long this time because I know I am running out of battery power for my GoPro and uh, probably running out of memory card as well because I shoot in 4K and that of course eats up more space on your card. So yeah, we'll bring you up to Golf Mill at least. It'll be a short and sweet one this time. By the way, um, you know, on this uh, Rad Rover 5, you guys might know that I changed out the brakes last year to um, hydraulic brake calipers. Not a full hydraulic system, but just the calipers. And uh, those are made by Juintech, sold at uh, Bolton e-bikes, now currently known as Area 13. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go through this. <laughs> so the brakes say Bolton e-bikes, even though Bolton e-bikes no longer exists, it's now called Area 13. But like I said, it's made by uh, it's made by Jew and Tech. <laughs> yeah, and, and these brakes do pretty good, actually. I mean, they're they're not as good as a full hydraulic system, but uh, for something that was easier to, to, to switch over for me and without having to change out everything uh, it's, it's not too bad the whole point uh, with the hydraulic I'm going to go up over this bump there um, it pulls on both sides right on a uh, I don't know if we can go down this way. Let's try this way. I think this is how we came in. Um, on standard manual brakes, both sides of the brake pad doesn't actually pull together. One side stays stationary, only one side pushes inwards. But on a hydraulic brake system, both sides pull in at the same time. So it's just a little bit easier, a little bit nicer to me, I think, to do that. Yeah, 
And see, the weird part is this, this map tells me go left, go right, go left. It's rerouting. Yeah, nobody knows where to go. <laughs> I'm only going based on instinct how I did it last year. But the map goes back and forth. It doesn't really know what's going on. Right, we got to cross the street here. Lots of oncoming traffic. So we need to wait a little bit. Okay. I think we've gone enough. <laughs> I'm going to call it a day for you guys. I appreciate you guys watching this entire trip. If you watched the other ones, uh, just go back a couple of days. You'll, you'll see the entire trip then. Um, I wanted to do this trip for quite a while now just to see what the other side looked like on that North Branch Trail. So I was able to finally do it. I think going forward, I will probably go towards the Botanic Gardens instead. I think that's a more interesting path in my opinion. So keep watching, we'll do that again one day. Like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next time.